this is part two of a video on a model steam engine that needed some repair or adjustments. The fellow that this steam engine belongs to wanted to mount a governor on this engine and the governor did not set square when he when he screwed it on there. It showed up in a previous video and I believe my assumption was right that the cylinder was not bored drilled correctly. <clears throat> what I did is turn out some discs to fit into the cylinders, the cylinder and the valve cylinder, and mounted them in a, in a kind of a cobbled up vice deal, but it, it seemed to work okay. I got it set on, setting on a surface plate and I've used an old-fashioned surface gauge because we're working on old-fashioned equipment to see where the actual center is. I put a center in this disc right here and a center in this disc or, and then scribed a line across them and you can see that the two cylinders are parallel. Using a surface gauge and the, and the uh, surface plate. <clears throat> Now we're going to check the alignment of the bolts. I'm going to have to adjust the surface gauge here. Okay, I'm just just touching the top of that bolt right there. And we'll come over to this bolt and you can see how far off it is. It must be close to a sixteenth of an inch. These are fairly precision machine bolts, quarter twenty thread, and it's the same thing on the top. We'll get the surface plate adjusted here to, or the surface gauge rather. Just touch the top of that bolt. I'm using a fine adjustment down here to raise it up. Okay, I'm just just barely touching the top of that bolt. Now I'll go over to this one and you can see where the surface gauge is touching. The same way, about, about a sixteenth of an inch up. This is touching way down here. 
So these holes were drilled too high on this side. Also, after squaring this up here, where the two cylinders were parallel, you can see the governor, where the governor is going to thread into the valve cylinder, is still twisted this direction. So I think we've, we've actually got two problems here. These holes weren't drilled parallel to the cylinders as well as this fitting wasn't threaded squarely. Now there again I don't know how much machine work had to be done to this casting. I don't have any instructions, prints or anything. I'm just trying to get it straightened out for the for this fella so he can have a nice looking steam engine. This engine runs just fine the way it is but it it's not too appealing especially with the governor set off to the side like that as well as the governor is driven by a, a, a flat belt and I think we're going to change that up also but the governor has to be aligned perfectly with the crankshaft or the belt won't track correctly or probably f fall off the pulleys or sheaves or whatever we end up doing. I'm thinking about making some pulleys because he doesn't have any pulleys now for this governor. I'm thinking of using a round belt machining some pulleys with a with a round groove in them it's a very short distance between the governor and the crankshaft I believe a round belt will grip better than a flat belt on this short a distance We'll proceed to the next step and trying to straighten out this little steam engine.